Welcome, in this video I will show you how to pair your Apple Watch Ultra 3 with your iPhone. First of all, make sure that this animation is being displayed on your Apple Watch screen and make sure that your iPhone is connected to the internet. Sign into your iPhone and then you're gonna see uh, this kind of notification on your display. In order to pair your Apple Watch with your uh, iPhone, click continue. But if you don't see this notification on your screen, you can simply open the app library and search for the watch application on your phone, then open it and then select start pairing, click continue and then scan the watch's display with your iPhone's camera like this, hold uh, your camera still for a moment until your Apple Watch is spared. Now you can either set it up as a new Apple Watch or restore data from backup. I'm gonna set it up as a new Apple Watch so I can show you all of the steps. Next, wait for a moment until your device is connected to Apple Watch. Then you have to read and accept terms and conditions you see here by clicking agree. Then you can create a passcode by clicking create a passcode right here and entering the passcode on your Apple Watch if you want to. You have to enter it once and then uh, the second time to confirm. I'm gonna skip a, pass, a passcode by clicking dot add, add passcode and confirming with don't use passcode. Next, wait for the following step. Now you can adjust the the, uh, text size and boldness. You can enable bold text by switching the toggle to the right and then see what it looks like on your Apple Watch and you can also change the size of your uh, of the text by moving the slider to the right to increase it and to the left to decrease the size. Then click continue once you're ready. Click OK. Uh, now uh, adjust your uh, data by selecting your date of birth, sex, uh, height, uh, weight and uh, if you're a person moving by a wheelchair, switch the toggle to the right. Then click continue. Uh, then click uh, get to know with uh, all the safety options and click continue once again. And then you can decide whether to enable your Apple Watch using a wrist flick or double tap. So you can use one of these two options to wake up your Apple Watch. And choose which one is more comfortable with you and click continue. Uh, then you can uh, set up the action button. You can do this right now by selecting one of the options you see right here. For example, you can select workout and click continue or you can do this later in settings if you don't want to do it right now. I'm gonna select workout, click continue. Now we can also adjust the depth application if you want to enable it automatically when you're submerged under water, uh, select open depth when when submerged uh, and to, or just select on open it automatically if you don't want this app to work uh, by itself. I'm gonna go with the fir first option, click done and now you just have to wait until your Apple Watch is synced with your iPhone. Okay, and as you can see right now, the device is added to your account, so you can click OK, then done. And right now your uh, watch is uh, set, fully set up, so you can click start and start using it. You can take a tour on watchOS 26, it's pretty uh, quick, though I'm gonna skip it. If you want to check it, you can check it out yourself. And right now uh, your watch is ready to be used by you. Thank you for watching this video, if you liked it consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one.